Hey, Mr. Clash here with another base breakdown of three star attack replay. And today we're having a look at an island base. You might have seen this type of island base before. It's not a moat island base with an uh, extra set of walls around the middle, just a standard island base. Now, what the uh, base builder has done here, he's put these little outside compartments with um, defenses in. Now, the idea behind those little outside compartments is that if you send in a wall breaker, the wall breakers don't run to walls, they do but they run to buildings behind walls. Then the walls are in the way, so then they detonate the wall, the bomb that they carry. So what that means is if you try to send a wall breaker to get into the middle, it's going to go to the nearest thing, which is these little sort of little island things on the outside. Uh, quite a while ago, one of the tactics was to build little compartments like that and just put a builder's hut inside, just so that it would make the attacker use extra wall breakers if they wanted to break into a base. But in this case, that's the logic behind that. So how do you deal with these island bases? You're coming in with a Valkyrie attack. How do you get the Valkyries into the core to stop them from wandering around? Because these island bases are designed so that once you get over the wall, everything just paths through in the middle, getting shot by the Expos. You can use up all your spells, keeping the troops alive, and then you're left trying to deal with some Expos and Teslas. So what do you need to do? What you need to do is create a wide funnel and be patient in doing it so that what Bryce is going to do here is going to drop a queen on this side and path it that way with some minions here on the hut and then have some bowlers come up on this side. So once the queen takes out this section, now you'll notice here this air defense is butted hard up against the dark elixir storage. Now with that wall there and the three tile spaces from the dark storage, that means this air defense is four tiles away and the queen can actually get it. If there was another wall here in, in the middle, that would be five tiles and the uh, air defense would be at the sixth tile and the queen can't shoot it. The queen's range is five tiles. So by butting it up here, once the queen gets onto this wall, she can take out this air defense. Now with the bowlers, their job is to take out this corner as well. And why is that important? Once this corner is gone, like that, it's gone up to here and the queen has taken out this, she probably won't get that, but it doesn't matter. She's taken out that section and this, you can see all of this is gone. Once all that stuff is gone, the only thing left is in the middle. If it's still there, you can have wizards and things in there to get rid of it, but that's not important. What's important is that there's nothing here on the outside parts so that when you drop a jump spell, any Valkyries you have coming through the wall, there's nowhere for them to go left or right. They will path into the core. So that is the idea behind the funnel. Now the funnel is a patient thing in this attack. And if you get too impatient with creating your funnel for your Valkyries, say that you didn't want to wait for the queen to do her bit, or you didn't want to wait quite so long for the bowlers to do what they need to do, and you send the Valkyries in too early or too close to one or the other, then what the Valkyries will do, so if you sent them in from here and you were too impatient, then the Valkyries will jump over and then they'll go, oh, they'll go here, then they'll go here and they'll start pathing around and they won't go into the core because everything else is closer. So the idea of these island bases is create your funnel. That's why it's called a funnel. It looks like a funnel so that whatever troops you, you have have nowhere else to go but into the core and then use your spells in the core and take them out. That's the idea behind island bases. You need to have a lot of patience with the initial funnel creation. So there we've, we've cleared that off. And now let's have a look at how Bryson does this in live attack. It's a little bit over two minutes to wipe out this base. So let's have a look at that now. All right, here we go. Now we're just going to wait. Got the minions coming in there to clean up to start that uh, funnel part of the funnel so that the queen's not going to take out those barracks. Now put the queen up the top with the healers on it. So she'll take out the um, army camp next, take out the storage, come down, take out the cannon, the wizard, and then she'll start pathing north. The bowlers have come in up onto that top corner. They'll take out those few things up there, take out the wizard tower, take out the pump that he's put a wizard on and a minion. Not Probably not quick enough because those bowlers have just started to stray in, but that's okay because that's recoverable. Now the other bowlers are going south. Now they have split up for some reason. They were all grouped together, but they've all now split up. That's the wonderfulness of bowlers. So the queens come in, the queen will take out the king. The bowlers have kept on pathing. So they're now gonna take all that top part out. So you can see how the queen went into the wall and she's taken out the air defense 
and the, the king's pad and she's about to take out the archer tower. Now watch carefully what happens with the wall breakers. Now you'll see they will drop near the queen, but they've run over to where the elixir storage was. That's because they're running to the nearest item and that was the nearest item. So now if the Valkyrie's coming in, bit of a, a jump spell. Now the closest thing is, of course, the core. After the air defense went down, the closest thing was whatever was in the core. So they'll take the jump spell, get into the core, have a rage in there for them, have a heal in there for them, keep them alive so that they can stay alive, take a little bit of damage from the queen and take over and head into the queen. And while all that's going on, just dropping in those hogs to take out those little outside weapons that are shooting in on the queen. Once the weapon is distracted, drop another hog. Once the weapon's distracted, drop another hog. Now obviously the hogs are doing pretty well, but their health is declining, so you do need to keep the heal up for them. So there's their last heal. And there, there you go. The base is wrecked. Queen's got healers, still got bowlers up. Uh, wizards on the right, hogs are still alive. And that is a maxed island base has been taken out. Valkyries through the middle. Queen on one side, bowlers on the other, and Valkyries through the guts take out the base. So that is how you three-star island bases. Create the funnel, send the Valkyries in through the middle, and that's it. Game over. Anyway, I hope you found something useful today. I do thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate all of the views that you give me. I really do. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.